I've heard a few folk asking, why travail? As we all know, weddings can be uh, expensive occasions. So our current plan was find a place in the middle of nowhere, set back for the main road that nobody can find, and hopefully we'll save in the numbers and that'll save us a few bob. <laughs> it didn't work. Seriously though, welcome, family and friends, to Travail House. It's the home of Adam and Connor, but today, more importantly, it's for the wedding of our Julie and our Michael. Henceforth to be known as Mr and Mrs Fairley. There's a light from a million suns Burning through your blood Feel the rivers run A window to the hope and wild is true It's all for you There's a song So we, when we finally arrive, we are truly grateful for the gifts we have been given. Maybe it's true that we don't know what we've lost until we lose it, but it's also true that we don't know what we're missing until it arrives. These are the hands of your best friend, full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow and forever. And these are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. And these are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. This bond is made by Julie's love for Michael and this bond is made by Michael's love for Julie. Marry your best friend. 
Love someone who is driven and passionate. Someone who optimistically supports and uplifts you in your own dreams. Find someone who will move mountains and wade through valleys to see you succeed. Someone who will do things that do not thrill them simply to enrich you. Find the one who will give you standing ovations for your small victories. Find a partner and a teammate, someone who does not expect you to adhere to obnoxious gender roles. Someone you want to be in rooms with you, but also someone who understands the health that is in and found in solitude. Michael, as the cliche says, he showed up when I was least expecting you. I intend to love you, hold you and grow very, very old with you. I promise to put us first and make sure that we're constantly working to grow together. I promise to stand by you in life's wonderful moments and when life is difficult. Michael, you're the person that I waited for and you're worth the wait today. Uh, today I come back, uh, I become your wife, your other half, and I can't wait for all the blessings that we wait, that we have together. Thank you for making love me so easy. Julie, you're my partner in life, my one true love, and my best friend. I think it's been four and a half years since you swiped right. <laughs> <laughs> How such a simple action could change our lives forever. From my flat in Kelly to our house up in the Hollywood Hills of Solcoats. <laughs> <laughs> From no pets to inheriting a zoo. There's more to come. <laughs> yeah, there's a, th a third barrel. From being on time to being 15 minutes late. I promise to walk beside you in this life that we share. To laugh with you. To lift you up when you're down to guide you when you seek direction. I, Michael James Fairley. I, Michael James Fairley. Accept you, Julianne Kerr. Accept you, Julianne Kerr. As I stand before you. As I stand before you. To be my wife. To be my wife. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And my respect for you. And my respect for you. I, Julianne Kerr. I, Julianne Kerr. Accept you, Michael James Fairley. Accept you, Michael James Fairley. As I stand before you. As I stand before you. To be my husband. To be my husband. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And my respect for you. And my respect for you. And place the ring. And then I can sing the magic words, which are <laughs> Michael and Julie, you're now married and husband and wife. And you may kiss. Mr. and Mrs. Fairley.